Hi guys and welcome to another episode of How To. Today I'm really excited, we've got the Samsung Frame 43 inch with us here today. So uh, this is literally to show you how to make your TV disappear from your room. So you might have seen the adverts from Samsung, they're telling us that this is the most beautiful TV you've never seen. So if like me, you don't want to clutter up your room, this is a really good option for you. It comes in 43 inch, 55 inch and 65 inch and it can uh, sit on one of these stands or it can go directly onto the wall. So let's have a look uh, and let's set it up and we'll run through how the TV works. As I'm not very good with DIY, I've had the TV put up. It's actually pretty easy. So it comes with the wall mount included in there. So as you can see, this is the wall mount and it allows the TV to be very close. So you can see here, the gap between the wall and the TV is very small indeed. Um, the TV looks beautiful on the wall, it barely takes up any space. So when you buy it, it doesn't come with the frame. So if you want a black frame like this, and it obviously is all very nice already. Um, so if you want something else, you can change these frames very easily. So they snap on. So uh, if you buy it together, that some shops have a deal on at the moment so make sure you buy them together otherwise they can be quite costly and so you just actually clip on the frame to the tv like this so it's nice and easy to put on and i've got the brown wooden effect so as you can see that is what i will have on my tv and that's it, that's done, that's been put on, so it's nice and easy. These are the different colours the um, frames come in, so you can change it accordingly to sort of your uh, preference. The TV is now in what they call the art mode, and it is beautiful. Um, it's a very different to when the TV is on, so if I switch the TV on, you can see it changes over and now it actually has a little bit different colors. Uh, so as you can see, I've got some Ultra 4K um, video here and it is absolutely beautiful. The sound out of the TV is very good as well. So you're getting really good sound directly out of the TV. Uh, I'm gonna get a sound bar anyway, but even the um, inbuilt sound is actually very good. So you don't actually need it if you wanna save yourself some money. Uh, this is on offer, so I bought it for 999 plus another 100 pounds for the frame. So I thought that's pretty decent because that's comparable to a normal TV uh, that would set you back about 1,000 pounds anyway right now. But with it being so close to the wall, it actually doubles up as a piece of art. And I like to have my house with minimal interruptions. And when you change it to the art mode, it is very good. You'll notice there are no plugs into the TV. So you can't plug anything directly into the TV. So let's have a look at the box uh, that you plug everything into. The design of it is very simple. So it's just a box. Um, so it allows you to hide it away like I normally hide it in uh, my little suitcase here. Um, all it needs is these two cables, so the power cable plus the cable that comes from the TV itself. So it is very simple to set up as well. Um, you've got many connectors here. So obviously you've got the HDMI's, you've got your uh, LAN if you want to connect it to the internet. I actually have it connected via Wi-Fi, so um, I don't use that at all. Uh, USB, so this one would be the powered USB, so for things like your hard drive and from your thumbsticks, you've got two USB um, ports here. Obviously you can put your normal TV in. I don't actually watch normal TV, everything I do is streamed, so I don't tend to plug anything in there, but if you want to, it is definitely here. The setup of this literally took me about five minutes, so it is super simple to set up, as all you gotta do is just uh, sign in all to your favorite um, apps, and then uh, you're ready to go. A lot of your favorite apps are already pre-installed on here, and the ones that are not installed, obviously, you've got the, um, store here so you can download extra apps uh, so the TV came with Netflix and YouTube already so all I had to do is just install the Prime uh, video so easy to navigate through uh, also you've got Google movies for proper watching uh, movies and you've got your TV shows and Netflix uh, over here so it is actually really easy to navigate um, so the TV is really well thought out when it comes to apps and its operation I picked it up within literally a few seconds uh, when I picked up the remote uh, you've got options with the art as well so you can sign up to the Samsung's program which uh, gives you more uh, art but the TV actually comes with a lot of art that you can store on the, is stored on the TV anyway which means you can pick many many 
um, of the photos and basically set that as your background. So that is very easy to do. And um, it actually follows the light in the room. So if you can see here, the TV gets darker uh, when there is obviously less light and it gets brighter when there's more light. And that really improves the quality of it looking like a picture. So that really is the difference when the TV is on, it's just bright, but when it's off, uh, it is in the art mode. You can actually switch the TV off completely, but I leave it on with the pictures on because it looks really nice then. Uh, it will switch itself on when there's no activity, so if you want to save electricity when you walk out after a few sec a few minutes, it actually switches off itself so you don't have to look after it. And when you're back in the TV, uh, so in the room, the TV switches back on, so that is a neat feature as well. So here is the remote. This is very clean and easy to use. So you've got your volume up and down here, the channels you can change up and down with that. This is a joystick so you can literally press up, down, left and right on that and select button in the middle. So nice and easy to navigate through the menus. You've got your home button, pause and back to home as well. And this button here, uh, if you press it down, it will um, change from TV to art mode and vice versa. And if you hold it down, it is actually the power button. Also a very neat feature, you've got the um, microphone here. So this allows you to remote uh, the remote to become a microphone and therefore you can control the TV like this. Simply press down the microphone button on the remote, open Netflix and the TV does it for you. So you don't have to scroll through menus and get to it. It's that a little bit faster. I know it's a simple feature, but I actually use it quite a lot. It speeds up my browsing through there. Uh, just to sum up the TV, uh, I think the price of it really warrants it. So especially for 999, comparable to other 4K TVs, the picture is super quality. Uh, and when you put it into art mode, it does look like a piece of art, especially with it dimming and getting brighter when needed. So I highly recommend it to anybody. I think Samsung's really done a good job and the ease of changing the frames to suit your interior is super simple, literally taking you seconds to change them over. Well, thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe and like the video. Uh, also leave me any comments with any videos you might want to see. Thank you very much.